Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. To solve this equation, we could go ahead and use the polar form, like we could replace Z with R times E to the I theta, and then just plug it in on both sides and hopefully we can get somewhere from there. When you do this, you're gonna get R times E to the I theta cubed equals R times E to the I theta. The problem with that approach is you're gonna get something like e to the i, 3 i theta equals e to the i theta. Does that mean 3 i theta equals i theta and then i theta cancel out and 3 equals 1? Or does that mean i theta is equal to 0 and that means theta is equal to 0? Well, we've got to be very careful here because in this case, you are able to multiply one side by e to the power 2 pi n i, which is basically 1 in the complex world, and then kind of go from there. Or you could totally use a different approach, which basically uses algebra. So we could go ahead and subtract z from both sides and then factor out a z and that gives you z squared minus one equals zero. From here, we get z equals one and z squared equals one. So you gotta be careful. There are two numbers whose square equals one and those numbers are one and negative one. They're basically three complex solutions to this equation, zero, one, and negative one. And that's it.